Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to show you the cards I got. Um, Christmas. I got this one from Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. And this one came from um, my neighbor from where I used to live. I was really surprised to get a card. And uh, this one came from Leslie. I really appreciate it, Leslie. And um, this one came from Lisa. And she also sent this really pretty clam angel, which I will. I'm actually packing up all my Christmas ornaments. I've had our Christmas tree up for three years now. And I've decided to take it down as an incentive to move on to a better place in the living world. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm taking on my tree. I'll probably hang this on my wall for a while. I didn't get all of my Christmas cards done this year, unfortunately. Um, hopefully it'll be better this year and I'm going to make some thank you cards for the gifts that I received and also I probably won't be crafting for a little bit because I decided to tackle my collect all pile. I'm sure most of you have an area, a bowl, a bucket, a bag. In, in my case I had a paper bag where every time I'd clean off my table or clean my room I'd throw all those um, odds and ends in the bag and like a year ago the bag ripped and instead of dealing with it then I just found a new paper bag to put it, put it all in and I just got tired of seeing this paper bag on my floor with half finished projects in it and just an assortment of weird crap that um, it's a little bit tedious to get put away in their in their respect, respective places. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on in the middle of baking some sugar cookies because I want some cookies. But I've been working on my on my collect all bag for a few days now, and it's still halfway. Still have half the stuff to put away. And it's frustrating, especially especially with like beads or like little charms or little trinkets where I've got to pull down each container just to color code them because that's what I do. Anyways, thanks for watching and thank you ladies for your cards. I really appreciate them. And they were really unexpected. I don't go to my post office box very often. So, usually... <laughs> Usually I only get my mail like once a month because I don't want to drive all the way into town to get my mail. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Adios. Hey guys, so I've got a package with the winnings from Scrappy Casey's challenge. Kind of a shame not more people join, but... Sometimes it's, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's a shame pe more people didn't join. That's what I'll say. Um, she sent this note card. Thank you, Karen, for what you wrote. And I could have chosen between a, a set money amount or this or a stamp and a die. And I chose the stamp and the die. And the die was the snowflake. And all I kept picturing was like a solid card base with gold foil snowflakes going across it. So that's that's why I wanted this die. And this isn't something I would buy myself. 
um, just because dyes are expensive. This dye, I don't know how much this dye costs, but it'd probably be, I don't know. I would think it'd be eight to ten dollars just because from these small companies are really expensive. And here was the stamp set, just right stamps, which they're cute. I still need to find a storage solution for my clear stamps. They're like in this massive, massive pile of. <laughs> of clear stamps. I try and keep them in the packaging for as long as I can, but um, I'm pretty rough with packaging, so they the packaging ends up splitting and they all fall out anyways, and they go onto the giant stamp pile. So, yeah, one day I'll figure out a way to organize those. Oops! And she sent this little notebook, and I dropped it. these little sticker hearts. So thank you Karen for um, the goodies and I really enjoyed doing the doing the globe for you. The altar. It was uh, to alter an item I think. I think it was it was either alter or upcycle. One of the two. Um, but yeah I had a good time and it was a shame that more people didn't join. Okay, thanks for watching you guys.